Hello and welcome to one of the most atmospheric venues in the game of football, St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Newcastle United taking on Liverpool. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, quite simply, and it is official, Liverpool have the number one attack in the league. Well, away from home, their ability to create chances and score goals has been fantastic. But it's the speed of their counter-attack that's been key to their success. They've been unstoppable at times this season. Good game. Have a great game. Thanks. Good game. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. Hey. Good luck. Cheers. Game out there. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Good game. Good game. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Martin Dubravka is the goalkeeper. Alan San Maxima plays with Ryan Fraser in the wide areas. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And so the match is underway. And the Magpies moving the ball forward with purpose. Wood. This looks interesting. Burn. And you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Thiago. Henderson has it. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. The really intense pressure applied. Shelby. Joe Linton. Are there to intercept. Fabinho, simple catch really. Joe Willock, Wood with it. Newcastle moving the ball forward, what can they do from here? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Henderson, Jota, superb block, useful looking ball, and a goal to open the scoring, no wonder they're celebrating. Well let's see this again, the vision to play this through ball is superb, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so, he really needs to do better in those situations. Newcastle get the ball rolling once more. How will they react to this setback? Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? It should be! Ball is loose! And putting his body on the line. Not covering up defensively. No nonsense clearance. 
Well, I don't think they've been at it today, but maybe, just maybe, that great save will inspire them now. Thiago! Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, it has come to nothing. Salah cuts it back. Splendid defending. Chris Wood. So almost at half-time and not quite going to plan for Newcastle in terms of the scoreline in this one. Stewart, what have you made of their performance in the first 45? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas, that... Thiago! Can they put it away? And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, as you can see, he gets a touch on this, but it's not quite enough to stop the goal. It was a good effort, though. Second goal for them here. Dan Burn. It might be on for them. Sam Maxima has it. The cross is on. And the corner has been given. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. Fraser's corner. Attending to his defensive chores. Strong but fair tackle. And that is going to do it for the first half. It's Liverpool with the advantage at the break, Stuart. Well, we said before the game what a brilliant side they are going forward, and they've proved that in the first half. Their combination play all over the pitch has been really good. It's been a top display so far. So the second half is underway and we're still reflecting on what was a dizzying performance by Liverpool in the first 45. Oh, super piece of play. Diogo Jota. And Mohamed Salah now. And that's a corner. Who can they pick out? A decisive clearance it was. Oh, what an opportunity. Can he finish? And there it is. Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, let's take another look. Wow, he hits this so cleanly. Absolutely no chance for the keeper. It just had too much pace on it. So back underway. Newcastle certainly back in the contest. What next? Oh, he's given it away.
Willock. Well, attacking possibilities. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Well, Liverpool haven't dominated possession, as you can see, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Disappointing cross and gobbled up by the keeper. No mistake from the keeper. Will it be punished? Chris Wood. Fraser. And Chris Wood. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Counter attacking, very much an option. Looking for Mane. He made it look simple, really. Did well to win the ball back. Shots up. It needs an accurate cross. Henderson. Just what the Liverpool fans wanted to see as they extend the lead to two goals. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. Just 15 minutes remaining. Willock. And a good tackle. Well, the minutes are ticking out. Oh, and that challenge carried with it quite the element of risk. Now, what's the referee going to do next? And when you have a player dismissed under these circumstances, difficult to see a way back. Well, what a bad tackle that was. He's just lost his discipline there. Alexander Arnold. Here's Salah. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Jordan Henderson to be replaced by number 15, Alex Oxley Chamberlain. Who's going to get on the end of it? The lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Well, goalkeeper mistake. Will there be a price to pay? Mane. It'll be a corner. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Number eight, John Joe Shelley. And number seven, John Linton. Coming onto the pitch, number 36, Sean Longstaff. And number 24, Miguel Amron. Trying to deliver it accurately. Can he put it away? Still a chance. Oh, what's he gone and done? And he's on! today what a performance
Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Chris Wood. Excellent vision. Saint Maxima. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Let's see about the delivery. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Diogo Jota. Jota. And here's Milner. Opportunity. And foiled only by the crossbar. So the final whistle and no cause for celebration in the Magpies camp. What did you make of how it went? It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now.